my name is Gwen Diaz. I'm a Filipino writer, uh, a novelist. I'm currently based in uh, South Australia for, for my PhD program, although right now I am in Manila in, in the Philippines. I don't know where to begin. <laughs> uh, today is the 100th day of the lockdown. So it's 100th day since the, the lockdown was imposed in uh, a big part of, of the Philippines. And um, if you've been hearing in the news, it's one of the most, uh, it's apart from being the longest or one of the longest, no, it's one of the most strictest uh, lockdowns uh, in the world. Uh, our checkpoints are manned by policemen. Um, thousands of arrests are uh, take place every night for curfew violators, things like that. Uh, the response team formed by the government was uh, is composed of military men, <laughs> of retired soldiers. Instead of instead of doctors or epidemiologists, ours uh, is really like a yeah a, a militarized uh, response to the pandemic. So. Uh, right now, the, it, it was really bad in the beginning. Things have sort of stabilized, but we are far after three months of, of, the, lo of the lockdown. We are far from flattening uh, the curve. You know, cases are still uh, piling up. Cases are still uh, increasing. It's really frustrating because, you know, you, you're kind of, you're helpless. No, you're you're in lockdown. You really can't do anything. Uh, instead of, uh, I mean, aside from like just watching things, like helplessly watching things unfolding. And we might have been in different places and circumstances, but for some reason, you know, we were kind of making sense of of the pandemic in in very similar ways. I was excited, you no. Know, um, ever since I'm I'm a fiction writer, so the the way I make sense of really heavy uh, experience, you no, know, whether personal or political or social, the way I make sense of things is really via writing fiction. 